We'll move on to a new question. Uh, this question relates to uh, process capability. The question goes like this. A process with high variation than the tolerance will have high CP, low CP, high CPK and the last option is low CPK. In order to answer this question, you need to know the concept of process capability and within that you need to know what is CP and uh, CPK. Now the formula for CP that I'm sure you would recollect and if you don't my request is just go and uh, refresh your concepts relating to uh, process capability talks about a ratio of the variation which is there in the process and that of the allowed variation by the customer so the allowed variation by the customer is called as tolerance which is nothing but USL that is the upper specification limit minus the lower specification limit and in the denominator you would have the total variation in the data and uh, we approximate that to six times of the standard deviation so that comes to somewhere around uh, 99.73 percent of the data so we think that's reasonably good enough to cover most of the data points so in the numerator we will have USL minus LSL which comes from the customer specification limits the tolerance and in the denominator we would have the variation now if uh, we go by this question it talks about a scenario where the variation is high compared to the tolerance right so the tolerance is in the numerator and the variation is the denominator so we expect the CP value to be low uh, so the answer actually is B. I have a couple of other questions relating to CPK in the series of uh, IASSE and ASQ exam preparation.